Hello, I'm Terry Malisi, and welcome back to The Gathering. You're going to have to muster up all of your courage for tonight's gathering, because tonight's gathering is a haunted gathering. You see, when the kids were small, they would go out trick-or-treating, and when they were done, they would come back to our house, and the kids would go downstairs and play, fueled with energy from all that sugar, and the costumed parents would stay up here and have a party of their own. Well, the kids grew, went off to college, and the parties fell by the wayside. I thought it was high time we bring them back. You see, the kids are all grown now, working and living in different parts of the world, and a lot of the parents are still in the area. So I thought, why not bring it back? So. A lot of the same parents who used to come to those parties years ago will be here tonight, as well as some of the kids. So, what's going to be on the menu? It'll be a cocktail party, and the house is decorated in all kinds of spooky atmospheres. The first item on tonight's menu is creepy vampire donuts. I have a dozen honey dip donuts black frosting, white frosting, red frosting, and most important, vampire teeth. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are going to take a donut and we're going to take a set of vampire teeth and work it into the donut until it shapes a mouth like that. Is that too cute? I'm going to grab a toothpick and what I'm going to do is with the black frosting make hair. And I'm just going to spread it around then I'm going to give it a little widow's peak and make two little eyes, little dots for the whites of the eyes. And then I'm going to take the black again and just put a little dot in the eye and you know, you got to play with it, make it work. And I'm going to take my red icing and I'm going to drip like you've got blood coming out of the mouth. Now isn't that the cutest thing? I've actually decided to use a little spreader for the hair. And so here you have them, creepy vampire donuts. And I must say they really are pretty creepy looking. And after you eat them, you have the teeth to play with. Be right back with the next dish. And now it's on to the second item, creepy finger dip. I thought while we had the frosting out, I would go ahead and make this because we attach sliced almonds to these carrot fingers and then we're going to place them in the dip. So what I'm going to do, this would be the thumb. So I am going to put some black because that's kind of creepy, right? Black underneath a fingernail. And you look for an almond that would stick. Well, now doesn't that look good? And I'm going to place this like, let me see, let me come around. Let me see, I'm gonna put this right here. Wow, that really does look like a thumb, doesn't it? Now we've got the forefinger. There's that. Now the middle finger. I love the black behind the nail because it just gives it that extra creepy element. 
and I'm using the frosting to adhere the almonds. Now for our ring finger. And now for the baby finger. So here you have it, creepy finger dip. I'm just going to put together this quick little treat. I have <laughs> wonderful, beautiful candy corn. And isn't this a beautiful glass pumpkin? I thought it would be a perfect presentation for this evening. Isn't that just perfect? I have another quick item coming right up. And here I have some creepy crawlers, gummy worms. And as for this extra berry, to the cook. This little guy is the third item on our menu, marshmallow ghosts. So we have marshmallows, black icing, and skewers. And how simple is this? Two eyes and a mouth. Pop the skewer in and there you go. So here you have them, marshmallow ghosts. Another creepy item if you ask me. Now here's our next item on our menu, bloody fingers. I have two pounds of hot dogs cut in half. Aren't they cute? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to roast them in the oven at 350. When they're done, I'm going to take them out and score the fingers just like our fingers are scored. And then I'm going to take sliced almonds <laughs> and insert them for nails. And they'll be served with a small bowl of ketchup for the blood. Be right back with our next dish. And now it's on to the spooky spider eggs. I have two dozen hard boiled eggs peeled I have three fourths cup of mayonnaise, four teaspoons of white vinegar, four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and then for the spider bodies, I have, because we're going to be cutting these in half, they're kind of like a different take on deviled eggs. I have 48 whole black olives for the spider body and then many little pieces that I cut for the legs that will go on four on each side of the body. So what I'd like to do is mix the mayonnaise and the white vinegar. and the Dijon, just so that these flavors can start melding. Now I'm going to have the eggs. Hello. Hello, Chelsea, come say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's been out doing errands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have these. It's a beautiful day in October, isn't it, Charles? Beautiful. Yeah. Bit of an Indian summer, if you will. Absolutely. We just had a visit from a guest who will be here tonight. And he dropped off not only two beautiful bottles of wine, these beautiful Italian cookies, and three varieties of stuffed Italian olives. Well, we're certainly going to devour these tonight at the Haunted Gathering. So I'm just going to continue on making these spider eggs and I'll be right back. Oh, so I have a confession to make. Um, my clock, the battery just died and it died 
at quarter past one. Here it is, quarter past three, and my guests will be here at six, and I've got like four more dishes to make, if not five. So, I am going to put these spicy bat wings in the oven. And then I have to get on to our, finish our spider eggs, and then get on to a very sick piece of fruit. Now for these spicy bat wings, it's very simple. Half a cup of melted butter, half a cup of pepper sauce, and then I'm going to whisk this, and then take your 24 chicken wings, drop them in, and then give them a good swirl, and then pour them in the pan with the juice. Lay them out. And put those in an oven. 350 for about 45 minutes. So it's back to the spooky spider eggs. You're going to take an egg. You're going to put some yolk mixture in it. You're going to take an olive and press it down. And then you're gonna take these little legs and stick them into the center so that they stay in. And here's your little spider egg. I will go ahead and make those and we'll be right back. Okay. So here we are on to bloody fingers. I'm putting Chelsea to work because as I said, my clock was <laughs> ran out of battery um, on the wall after it's still stuck at 1.15 and time's marching so um on to bloody fingers so as you know we have like a couple indentations here a couple here so what you want to do is you want to put one and two and three cuts to make it look like fingers and then you're going to take this is the cool part you're gonna take a sliced almond and jam it in there. And there's your nail. Is that too cute? Okay. <laughs> what? Can you imagine if someone's nails actually looked like that? Oh, you know, it's like, whatchamacallit. Yeah. I mean, they do look like fingers, right? Yeah, fat fingers. <laughs> and here you have it, bloody fingers served with a side of blood. Thanks. Okay. How do my fingers look in comparison? <laughs> <laughs> and look at those eggs. Let's get a close up of those. Wow, Chelsea, creepy. Another creepy crawlers. Creepy. Woo woo. <laughs> creepy crawlers. At the gathering. Spooky spider eggs. Ooh, creepy crawlers. So here's another item for the haunted gathering. I don't know if you can maybe visualize what might be going on here. We have a skull and a loaf of bread. And what does this loaf of bread remind you of? Doesn't it remind you of a coffin? Well, it does to me. And that's what we're going to do. I am going to turn this this way. I'm going to 
cut this, and of course this is pumpernickel, and it's a whole loaf. So you can get it at any supermarket. Just ask them not to slice it. They'd be very happy to accommodate you. And what you're going to do is you're going to pry it open. Now isn't that just the cutest thing? I'm going to just hollow that out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to secure this back on with toothpicks, but I'm going to rest it so that I can now hollow out the bread for the coffin. So as you can see, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Let's move that over because we're not going to need that. Now what we're going to do is fill this with dip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take the head of the skull and place it right there. Now our crusty toothpicks. And so what I did with the back, I just pushed it up to the back of the coffin and secured it with toothpicks. So here you have it, coffin dip. And now it's on to another creepy dish, devils on horseback. So what we have are I want to say 44 halved prunes, pitted prunes, 44 slices of bacon, and blue cheese. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make little cubes of the blue cheese, not many not big because we just want to put a little taste in here we don't want to overpower it so I'm just kind of cubing it crumbling it okay and then we're gonna put them in this pan right here so we're gonna take what I did was I have the prune I'm gonna put a little bit of blue cheese and I'm going to fold it like that. Then I'm going to take a piece of bacon, wrap it, secure with the toothpick, and put it on the tray. Now I've got to check on the bat wings, so be right back. Here are the devils on horseback. These will go in an oven 350 for about 15 minutes. Keep watch on them because you don't want them to burn. Now, now it's on to a fun dish. It's called sick watermelon. So first off, we're going to cut this. like so. Okay, and I think that's the best part for the face. Scoop out the watermelon. All of the flush out. And this, I want to cube up. Just kind of place over here. I'm throwing these two pizzas in the oven. I'm going to turn up the oven to 425. And these are going to be for uh, pizza. Actually, dead man's fingers and toes. Oh, okay. Okay, so here we go. 
with the sick watermelon. I'm going to make an indentation right about there. Come down and make teeth. Okay, I think that looks like a mouth. And it tastes good. I've got pineapple. I've got strawberries. I'm going to mix it all up. it's coming out of the mouth. Now what I'm going to do is make a couple of eyes. Now the eyes are two slices of cucumbers with a slice of an olive for the middle of the eye. And as you can see, it looks like an eye. And it'll look even better once I stick it in there. With the toothpick. Okay, so I think whatever way works is good. And you know this is the gathering. So we try and do our best. All right. All right. And there you have it. Sick watermelon. Anita. Has anyone seen Anita? And where are those puppies? I have one, but I need 100 more. Anita? Uh, George? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I brought one of mine. This puppy is here. Uh, well, like perfect. Six city Yeah, it's good. It takes, it takes blue cheese and bacon. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Yeah, devil's on Coffin dip. Where's <laughs> the basket? Take the watermelon. Oh, I guess it is. Good job, man. There's a lot of work to make, though. Yeah, there is. Good about you. Oh, yeah. It is Google. That's all. You got the Google. Wow. Mm. You want to cut it like this. Mm -hmm. But then cut small, 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 small toenails and the fingernails. Hey, 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 hey. pirate! Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for the cookies and the wine.
Turn that up. You can do whatever you want. Chat party. You just document. So, how does she make fingers and toes out of this? Well, because she's. You just take a picture of my toes. Yep, Chase. I want Chase, our bachelor. Well, do you think, like. I just feel like Luke would be. Not as entertaining. Yeah. Which is very kinda, serious. Yeah, he wasn't one of my favorites. And he was kind of whatever. Happy Halloween! Happy Woo! Halloween! Happy 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 Bloody meat pieces. It's like when I have to move. Yeah. She doesn't want to move. Yeah. 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 Here's stage cam. What's the Cowboys? Wait, okay, give me poses. Coach oh, Malisi. Okay. All right. Love it. Boom, baby. Okay. Mm. Go. Yeah. Get that fly.